In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Bullet Dynamics System, which is available in Lightwave 11. Using the Dynamics System is really easy, and I will demonstrate it setting up a very simple scene, using rigid, static and kinematic bodies. We have several object layers in our scene, a box, a sphere, a toroid and a plane. Let's move them around, so they're in different positions. We will make them fall down and interact with each other. We can transform any mesh in a dynamic object using the option from the FX Tools menu. All we need to do is to select the objects and click on Rigid Body. A rigid body reacts to forces such as gravity and weight, and of course to any collision it may happen. Since we want the ground plane to act as a collider only, without being affected by gravity, we'll make it a static body. We can now open the Bullet Dynamics Properties window. On the left we have a list of the currently active dynamic meshes. For the moment let us limit ourselves to modify the shape option, which is set to mesh by default. Let's assign the box shape to the box object and the sphere shape to the ball. We can leave the toroid shape set to mesh and assign the box shape to the ground plane object too. When using the built-in shapes, a collision margin greater than zero is recommended. It won't offset your objects, but helps with calculation errors. This is especially true for smaller objects. I'll set the collision margin to 10 mm for the box, the ball and the ground plane. We can finally hit play and take a look at the real-time dynamic simulation. Our meshes are falling down, realistically colliding each other. From the World tab, it is possible to activate the option to visualize the collision shapes. We have several of them available, which we can use in different situations, as it will be described in later videos about Bullet. Now, I'm going to add a very simple animation to the ground plane. I want to rotate it so the object will slip down on it. I temporarily disable dynamics so I can scrub the timeline and create keyframes without the bullet trying to recalculate the new result every time. After having enabled dynamics again, I can finally hit play and look at the simulation. As you may notice, the ground plane is not following the animation I just set. That's because we're defining it as a static object, which means that only the first keyframe is taken into account by Bullet to calculate its position. So at the moment the keyframes I've created are just ignored. To solve this we have to change the dynamic type to kinematic. A kinematic object is simply a collider which can only be animated directly by the user. If we hit play now, we finally can see the consequences of the animation of the ground plane. We can have some more fun cloning and moving the objects and calculating the new simulation. We can clone the dynamic meshes again and again. The calculation will be super fast anyway. This is only the tip of what can be done using the new Bullet Dynamics in Lightwave 11 that has been designed to be enjoyable and easy to use.